All right, adventurers, welcome back to All Play. We just completed the first major step in our playthrough. We beat uh, Faulkner, the leader of the Vir Violet Violet City Gym. I don't know why I almost said Viridian City Gym. Let's go ahead and look at our team thus far, guys. If you missed last episode, you missed a, a banger of an episode. Go back and watch it. This is Perry, the brave Piplup with Pound, Growl, Bubble, and Water Sport. He's followed by Buzz, the naive Combi, with Sweetsin and Gust. And he's followed by Flash, the hasty Shinks, with Tackle. Don't, don't even comment on my team. Don't even make fun of my team. All right? They're doing their best. They're doing their best. This team is... This team is, is very dangerous, actually. We need to... At the end of the last episode, we got a phone call from Professor Elm, and he said that we should probably carry the egg with us. He sent someone to the Pokemart, so that's where we're going to go to pick it up. Let's see. Here's his aid right here. Long time no see, Chill. I've been waiting for you. This is from Professor Elm. The thing is, we would like you to take care of an egg. Sure. Fine. I'm still doing old man errands. Thanks for the egg. After you left, Professor Elm received a phone call. I have no idea what they were talking about. But after a while, Professor Elm suddenly cried out, I can't think of anyone more suited than Chill. Then he insisted that I hand you this egg to you. That's why I came here to deliver the egg to you. It seems that a Pokemon will hatch from it only when you keep it in your party of Pokemon. That's another reason we've chosen you, Chill. Please take care of it. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. This attendant is one of the guys delivering the thing that mom bought for us with my money. That I earned. With my Pokemon. And she did it. Good day. Chill, isn't it? I have a package from you for, for you from your mom. Here you go. It's a super potion. Thanks, Mom. We look forward to your next visit. All right. Let's buy some stuff so that our team doesn't die on us. How about that? Let's buy some stuff so our team doesn't die on us. We got $8,000. We have a little more than $8,000. Here's an antidote. I'm actually going to buy... Let's, let's go ahead and buy 10 antidotes. There's no special for buying 10 antidotes. I just want 10 just in case. Here's Paralyzed Hill. We needed that last battle. Let's go ahead and buy... Let's buy... Let's buy five of those. We can do five paralyzed heals. Paralyzation isn't gonna kill you. Or paralysis isn't gonna kill you. Let's get awakening. We'll get we'll get four of those again. Going to sleep's not gonna kill you. Any other items? What else do y'all have? Y'all burn heal? Let's get burn heal. We need a burn heal at one point. Burn heal might kill you. Let's go ahead and get ten of those. What else y'all got? Here's an escape rope. Let's get an escape rope. We should need ice heal this early. If we need ice heal this early, we should just go ahead and take the hit. Uh, Pokeballs and potions. We have potions. We have two potions. Let's go ahead and stock up. Yeah, we'll get seven potions. And then we are skint broke. We are skint broke at this point, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So we're going to head on out. We're going to bounce. We're going to head on out. All right. So we're... Oh, who is this? Me, oh my. That egg must be. I see. So it's handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, then from Professor Elm to you. Now I get it. That egg is truly an important egg. Please do take good care of it for me. Is that understood? I am counting on you. Okay, so Professor, not Professor, um, Mr. Pokemon did say that the egg came from somebody, so I guess the egg came from her based on what she said. All right. Let's look at the egg. Let's look at the egg. It's an egg. It is an egg. You guys can see how early, how far ahead I'm playing the game now. I'm I am guess you probably could see that before when it came to all the other Pokemon on the team. It's all right. It'll be okay. All right. What we got, what we got, what we got. We're finally heading out to a new area. We're going to be able to catch some new Pokemon. I probably could have gone back to Dark Cave to catch something. And I actually might do that later on. I'm not going to do it right now. I want to move forward a little bit. I don't want the episode to be completely based on catching Pokemon. Let's see. What route are we on? Route 36. So North heads to Ikrutik City. What is left head to? Uh, uh, West, I should say. What is West head to? Oh, is that a tree? 
Yeah, it's a dancing tree. We got dancing trees blocking the road, so it looks like we can't go that way. We can head south then. Let's head south. Let's talk to these people. This is the ruins of Alf, an ancient tradition made of stones. Don't you wonder who would make something like this and why? Kind of, a little bit, yeah. Did you see that strange tree in the road? That may explain why fewer people are visiting the ruins of Alf. Hey, those of you who know I love music, let's just start joking. That means I really like the music. I really love the Ruins of Alf song. All right, so here in the Ruins of Alf, there should be a puzzle that I need to do. Yes, the puzzle is still here. Let's talk to the attendant. Welcome to this chamber. We are reconstructing ancient Pokemon stone uh, panels. You can rotate stone panel pieces by touching them for a short time. If you touch a piece and slide it, you can move it around. We think we should be able to put them back to where they were. All right. So these panels down here on the right side, for me, it's, it's a screen on top and a screen on bottom. For you, that screen on right should be on the bottom, just so you guys know. The, screen, the touch screen, that's the right screen, has images, and in, in what we can do is we can move them around. Uh, it, it, the top, the one on the left, gives a hint on what Pokemon it is, and then we can solve it. This Pokemon hides on the seafloor and watches the shore with, with eyes on its back. Um, what was I going to say? If you're familiar with Pokedex entries, then, then you would be able to know who this is just by reading that. I'll move this piece here, and then we can rotate it. There we go. So this piece should be arranged like that. This piece should be here, right? No, is it here? I think it should be here. It, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Then this piece should be here, just like that. No, I'm sorry. This piece should be here, like that. And then this piece should be here. Um, before I turn, I'm going to go ahead and say... What was I going to say? Oh, oh, in Gen 2, when the original version of this game... The, this is Gen 4. It's a remake. In Gen 2, you had to do every single tile piece here. Now they made it a little bit easier so you can kind of see what needs to be where. Uh, it was much, it was way harder. If you didn't know what you were assembling, you had a, you had a bit of a struggle. All right. The floor opened up. And we fell down here. Did you just come down from above? So, you must have solved the stone panel puzzle. That is wonderful. You seem to have some talent with archaeology. Well, I do know a certain archaeologist. Architect. I will give you this unknown report. It records unknown as you capture them. I'm sure it will come in handy. We got the unknown report. Oh, it's in the key items. What it used to be was an add-on to the Pokedex. Basically, oh, there's a strange presence here. Basically, once you solve one of the puzzles, and there are a few more, once you solve a puzzle here for the Ruins of Elf, you unlock the ability to catch Pokemon down here. Without one of them being solved, you can't catch any. They all need to be solved for you to catch all of them. What all Pokemon are down here? Unknown. There's 20, there was 26 different versions of Unknown, but in this one, there's 28. Each of the 26 letters of the, what is it, the Greek alphabet, I believe it is? Is it Greek? The, the, the current day alphabet, what we use now, A, B, C, D, and all that. As well as the question mark and an exclamation point. There's one different form for each one. So the unknown report captures what each one looks like. All right, so here's our encounter in the ruins of Alf. It's a Smoochum! Smoochum adds a lot of diversity to the team. First off, it'll be the only female. Oh, Perry's going to murder it. Perry's going to murder it. I'm going to be sad. First off, it'll be the only female on the team. And uh, it's ice type and fight, uh, psychic type. So it, it adds a diver uh, wide diversity of moves. Let's give it a Pokeball. I want to save that Premier Ball for something really cool. Smoochum's cool, but not really cool. Oh, no. We got to hit it. We have to hit it. In those pound, all right, pound. Oh, pound was a crit. I was gonna say pound not gonna do too much. That pound was a crit, Vimala. How about we send out? Who, what do you know, Flash? You know, you know, tackle. We'll send Flash out. We'll send Flash out. 
good. Lower that, that attack stat, because Lord have mercy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Flash can't take attacks. Flash sucks at taking attacks. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Please don't crit. One more. One more should do it. All right, we need to get Flash out of there now. Uh, I'm going to switch to Perry just because Perry will be able to eat up damage. Oh, Lord. It, it has Lick, too. Lovely. Lovely. We need this ball. Let's go for the Premier Ball now. Let's go for the Premier Ball now. Nope. Still breaking it. Well, we wasted our Premier Ball. Here's a pound. Found or what? We're gonna switch to uh, we're gonna switch to Buzz. Here's a pound. Come on, hit it with a gust. Gust shouldn't do much because it's ice type. I think it's ice type. It's not normal. I know it's a baby, but it, it has a type, I believe. All right, here we go. Uh, catch it with a Pokeball. One, two, three. All right, we got Smoochum. Our team is getting more and more diverse once again. All right. What are we going to call Smoochum? Smoochum is the kiss Pokemon. It is. It always rocks its head slowly backwards and forwards as if it's trying to kiss someone. That's interdasting, and it is actually Ice and Psychic type. Give a nickname, of course. Of course. Uh, what was I just gonna call it? I was gonna call it. This is. This is Lady. Lady the Smoochum, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, let's get the hell out of here before some. Never mind. Never mind. It's gonna be nothing but Smoochum down here. The only thing you would normally be able to catch is unknown. So that means there's only one Pokemon. One different species of Pokemon here. Uh, and that's Smoochum. We're gonna leave. We're gonna GTFO. We're gonna promptly GTFO. Come on. Once we leave, we'll heal up Smoochum. We'll heal Smoochum and then we'll find out. Uh, we'll find out what moves it knows as well as its stats and things like that. It's probably pretty decent stats. Come on. Let me out. Let me out, let me out. Come on. I'm sick of Smoochum. I'm sick of Smoochum. Come on. All right. Let's see, we need to find more, uh, more of those stone panels. There isn't one here, right? No, okay. Let's go heal. We'll heal up and then we'll come back. Actually, we won't come back to the ruins of Alf. There's truly no other reason for us to be here at the moment because we caught the only thing that we can catch. I mean, we can solve the other puzzles, but that's not going to do too much when it comes to when it comes to being in the area. So we're going to heal and we'll be right back. <sighs> we got we finally got four on the team again. Finally. Finally. I'm going to heal. I'll be back. So we're going to pass through the ruins of Alf. Actually, let's, before I forget, let's take a look at uh, Lady, her stats and her attacks. Oh, she's holding a Dawn Stone? That's pretty cool because now we'll be able to evolve things that we otherwise wouldn't be able to. This is Lady, the relaxed, uh, relaxed Smoochum. She's Ice type and Psychic type. A lot of diversity there. She knows Pound and Lick and her stats. They're okay. We're going to keep her focused on special. Her stats are pretty good. Her ability is oblivious. It prevents her from becoming infatuated. Basically, attract and... What's the other one? Attract. What's the one that does it on contact? It was it was Skit Lord's ability. I can't... It's not infatuation. I don't think it's called. But it basically keeps it from happening. We're going to continue east out of here. And we're going to head on to the next city from there. 
There's the entrance. All right. So we can either head north, which would take us immediately back to Violet City. Hey, there's a thing here. We can get this out of the tree. One of the apricorns. It's a yellow apricorn. All right. How you feeling there, uh, Perry? He gave me a sunny look. That's what's up. Perry's finally doing stuff other than rolling around. Route 32? Another route? Another opportunity to catch something. Hopefully it's something good here. If I'm not mistaken, this is where you get Flaffy in a non or Marif in a non-randomized game. It's a Wismer. Wismer is actually pretty good. Wismer is actually OP if you train him right. Ooh, we can't bubble him. That'll myrtleize it. Come on, Perry. Good work. There's an uproar. All right, uproar is pretty good. Uh, let's give it a good old Pokeball. Nope, he ain't doing it. She ain't doing it, excuse me. Another uproar. All right, we can't tackle it again. It will die. Oh, Lord, it got a crit with the with the uproar. All right, we can't tackle it. How about we send in Buzz? Let's send in Buzz. I believe Gus should help out. Another uproar. That must be its only move. It really has no reason to use uproar back to back like that. It must be its only move. Damn! Damn, Buzz! Damn, Buzz, you gave me a heart attack! Oh, Lord! Alright, we need to get Buzz out of there. We're gonna get Buzz out and then we're gonna catch it. Perry, come back. Just hold it. You must hold, bu uh, Perry. Come on. Alright, here's another Pokeball for the soul. Damn, I think its health is really as low as it can get. There's absolutely no way. There's, at the very least, there's no way we can lower its health anymore. It might, it might entirely be possible that its health can go lower with a very weak attack, but there's no way our team will be able to do that. Come on. Come on. All right. Um, how about, how about we throw another ball? We got it. It's got to work. It's got to work. I, I really want a Wismer on the team. That hope diversifies so much. One, two, three. We got Wismer. Oh, oh, good work, guys. Good work. Proud of you all. Proud of everybody today. All right, we have a Wismer on the team. Now we have, we have five Pokemon. Wismer is the Whisper Pokemon. If it senses danger, it scares the foe by crying out with the volume of a jet plane engine. Ain't that something? Give her a nickname. Of course we'll give her a nickname. Wismer. Wismer. We'll call her, you know, we'll call her. We'll call her. We'll call her Quiet. This is Quiet the Wismer. Quiet the Wismer, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go heal. We'll heal and we'll find out her stats, all right? Uh, I don't want this to be, like, uh, you guys know I hate having to run back here. I hate having to run back to the Pokemon Center every every five minutes. But we just got a new Pokemon, and that Pokemon did a lot of work against our team to prevent being caught. So I, I won't actually want to do this heal. After this, we're going to progress through Route 32, I believe it is. We're going to, at the very least, get to Azalea Town in this episode. That's the next city that we need to get to. We're at least going to make it there. Come on. Come on, boys. Let's go. Boys and girls, I should say now. All right, let's look at the team. Or, er, er, look at Quiet. Let's just look at Quiet. Quiet, the naughty whismer. Great. <laughs> Great. Uh, it's attacks, pound and uproar. Soundproof is an ability that says sound-based moves do not work against Wisman. Sound-based moves don't work against Wisman. 
It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty pretty interesting. In Gen 4, I don't believe there are that many sound-based moves that are really used. There's uproar. There's stuff like sing. Uh, past that, I can't think. Oh, oh, uh, screech. Screech is a sound-based move. Past that, I don't think there are a lot of moves that are really used in this game. Or, or I, I believe up to like Gen Six, there's not really that many. There's not really that many moves. This man, wait up! What's the hurry? Have you have some good Pokemon there? It must be from the training you gave them around Violet City. I don't like to brag, but Team Snaps and Claps really is doing the damn thing. The training at the gym must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir of Violet City, take this. It increases the power of grass type moves. I bet you. I bet you. It doesn't. Oh, it does. It does. This one's not randomized. Normally, I'd expect that to be randomized. It'd be something like a, a super potion or something. It's a miracle seed. It's a hold item that does, in fact, raise the, the power of grass type moves. Did I take the Dawn Stone? No, I did not take the Dawn Stone from Lady. Let's take that now before we forget and lose it somewhere. All right. Here we go. Into the grass. We got one step into the grass, ladies and gentlemen. That makes me sad. It's a Ladybug. I'm glad we did not run into a Ladybug as our first encounter for Route 32. I would have the Saz. We're not going to fight it. We're going to let Ladybug live. Let Ladybug live, ladies and gentlemen. They, you don't know what they're doing for our ecosystem. Hey, it's a Budu. Budu's pretty cool. I would have liked a Budu. I would have liked a Budu. But we're not going to mess with Budu either. We're going to leave it alone. Oh, we're going to get some battles. We're going to get some battles pretty soon. And the Cherubi, there's Cherubi here as well. Again, not going to fight Cherubi. I don't want to waste, I don't want to waste valuable power points. On Cherubi and Badu. Let's see if we can sneak past the man. Actually, I think I like fighting this one. Do we need to fight him? Let's not fight him. There's going to be a few mandatory battles. This I like fighting her. I like fighting her. Let's give her a run. We'll give her a run. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you know... Pardon? Pokemon battle? I'm on the phone. Oh, all right. I'll accept your challenge. This is Picnic or Liz. Picnic or Liz, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, I love Gen 2. I think, to be honest, I think I can guess the majority of the NPCs in this game. I can guess their, not only their title or their class, but their name as well. There's a lot of characters that really, that really stand out. That's a Diglett. It's weak against water type attacks. He's going to get the business. He's going to get the business. Or she. She's gonna, it's a female Diglett. She's going to get the business. There it is. Business was delivered. And she's done. <laughs> Before I could get serious, I lost. Why aren't you getting serious? Get serious. Oh, you're on a big journey to see the sights? Neat. Let's be friends. Can I have your phone number? I want to hear about everything you've seen. Sure. Sure, you can have the phone number, Picnic or Liz. It's actually good to give as many different NPCs your phone number as possible because they actually will call you throughout the game if something interesting comes up. Like, there might be a swarm, what they call a swarm of Pokemon. Pokemon that aren't supposed to be seen in certain areas. Uh, you might, they might be in abundance during certain times of the day or certain days of the week. So it's actually beneficial, very beneficial to give them your phone number. Where are we going? Where are we going? Here's a battle, or here's a wild Pokemon. Oh, another Ladybug. We're gonna let let Ladybug live. Let Ladybug live. Come on, sneak past this gent. We're gonna be at a point soon enough where I'm gonna wish I didn't sneak past all these people. Uh oh. Here we go. Oh, never mind. Too fast for me. Too fast for me. Uh, I found some good Pokemon in the grass. I think they'll do it for me. I don't remember this one's name. I, just, I know he's a youngster, but I don't remember his name. Gordon, okay. Magikarp. This is one battle I definitely wish I snuck past. We're going to switch Perry out. 
You're gonna give. Let's give Quiet this one. This is Quiet's battle. We're gonna give Quiet this one. All Magikarp can do is splash. He's not gonna deal any damage. Meanwhile, we're gonna uproar it up. We're gonna uproar it up. Come on. Yeah, that crit though. Oh, we're stuck in uproar. Okay, that's why. That's why Quiet did uproar so many times when it was in the wild. Uproar is one of those moves that you're stuck in for a while. It's okay. I was gonna do uproar again anyways. It's fine. Get Quiet all that experience. Shucks, thought I could win. Sorry, youngster. It's not how it works. I thought I could win too, and I did. Yo, it's a Pokemon sitting here. Uh oh. That means we're about to enter a cave, aren't we? Oh, I don't. Re I didn't remember this cave at all. All right, let's heal. Let's heal. When you enter the major caves, they put Pokemon centers out in front or before them, so that in the event that you white out and you're not doing a Nuzlocke, when you do white out, you go back to the Pokemon Center that you last went to. So you'd come back at this one instead of the one in Violet City and have to make that entire long trek again. How you feeling, uh, Perry? I need to know how you feeling today. Hmm? Perry is blankly staring in this direction. Want to call his name? Yes! Perry! Hey, Perry! Your Pokemon seems so happy. We got one of those. We got one of those. Let's see this cave. Union Cave. All right, so Union Cave means that we have another opportunity to catch a new Pokemon, a new member for the team. All right, thank God it's not dark in here. All right, we have our encounter already. It's a Volbeat. I don't want a Volbeat on the team. I don't want a Volbeat, but that's what that's what we've been given. Here's a bubble. Hold this bubble. I forget if Volbeat is the bug one or the normal one. There's another Pokemon called Illumis. I think it's Illumis. It's either Illumis or Illumise. I don't know. I call it Illumis. Uh, it looks just like it except it has blue around its collar instead of that red. Oh, it knows Flash. We should catch it because then we don't have to waste our Flash HM. I forget. Oh, one of them is bug and the other is normal type, I believe. I can't ever remember. I can't remember. When Pokemon are super close like that, I can't remember the difference between them. Here's a ball. One. Nope, no good. All right, let's see how our tackle will fare. If it kills it, I'm not gonna be upset. I'm not gonna be upset. Oh, Perry missed the tackle. Let's see about another, or er, pounds, I should say. Yeah, it killed it. It's all right. It's all right, Perry. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Honestly, I have no true implication, no true use for a Volbeat on the team. Hey, Perry wants to learn Peck. That's what's up. Everybody knows a flying type attack. Do we want to give it a growl? I think we want to give it a growl. Perry knows a flying type attack. Combi knows a flying type attack. Who else do we have on the team? I think that's all for flying type attacks. We had Chuck. Rest in peace, Chuck. Now an Electrak. Electrak I could have used. We could have replaced. We could have replaced. What, what's the thing called? We could have replaced Flash with an Electrak. Oh, actually, let's not fight it. Let's leave, Perry. You are, you are not in the right type to do such. Okay, let's run around here. Get past that hiker. There's something interesting that happens in Union Cave on Fridays. Um, there is a Lapras that you can find in one of the deeper levels of this cave. Now, of course, two things. Three things, rather. One, it's randomized, so it won't be a Lapras. Two, we already got our encounter. And three, it's not Friday. It's not Friday. It's currently a Tuesday, I believe. Days off. I had the day off today. So it's a Tuesday for me. All right, we're almost out this cave already. I should have them fight this hiker so that they get experience. Only thing is, I don't know what 
what Pokemon they'll have. So it's not like I can guarantee that we'll be going against rock types. For oh, he turned around on me. Oh, 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 oh! Is he gonna keep doing that? He keep going side to side. And there's Shinx in here as well. Loverly, loverly. Come on. Fine, let's just do the battle. Hey, this is my, this is my favorite. <laughs> this is my favorite. Oh, let's get ready to battle song. Not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. You're headed to Azalea, are you? Let my Pokemon see if you are good enough to battle. I'm finna, I'm finna give you this business. Hiker Russell. Oh Lord, he has a Mareep. We're doing this again. How about we send out a uh, good old quiet? At least now, at least now we're not locked into giving him a type advantage. Static, no static. Good, good, good. That up, Roto. Here's a static. No static. Good, good. Good work, quiet. I'm proud of you. I am so proud of you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, drowsy. We're gonna keep. Should I switch? I think I should switch here to Lady because Lady knows Lick, which is a ghost type attack. Ghost type attacks are good against psychics. Drowsy is a psychic. Come on, get this biz. Oh, I just hope. I just hope. Level eight to level five. I hope there's not too much difference in strength in stats. Dang it, it's super effective, but it's not gonna do much. Sup, paralyze, Curtis. <laughs> Let's go! Disable. Yes! It's not gonna disable it. Come on. Come on. Hypnosis. Death, not good. Death, not good at all. Alright, lady, we need you to wake up soon. Need you to wake up soon. Come on. The table's gonna fail because we're not using anything. Ooh, that paralysis, though. Give him a lick. No? No lick? Okay. Nope. Nope. Not the day. Not the day you don't. Come on. Yeah! Good work. Disable. It worked. So, lick is disabled. The only thing we can use is pound until lick is no longer disabled. Come on. All right, all right. Almost there, lady. And we're back to sleep. And we're back to sleep. Come on. Yeah, it's not gonna let me use lick still. Lovely. Oh, oh, here we go. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. No longer disabled. Go back to lick. Wake up. Need you to wake up. Wake up. There we go. Good work. Ah, oh, how lovely. Good work, lady. Good work. All that experience is for you. Don't spend all in one place. She spent all in one place. Made to level six. Brad, she almost leveled up again. Abra. Abra should only know tackle this early. I'm sorry, not tackle. Teleport this early in the game. Teleport makes it so that you can leave battle if you want to, if it's a wild Pokemon. And and you can teleport back to the last Pokemon Center that you visited in the real world, in the, the out the overworld. So it shouldn't be able to deal damage at all. It shouldn't be able to do anything. We should be able to lick Albert to death. She's a lady, alright. Come on. Come on. There we go. This is all you lady. Good work. I knew I knew this would be perfect time for us to to train lady. Come on. All right. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Lady to level 7. 
Oh, oh, oh. All right. Y'all, you're, everyone's health is fine, right? Yeah, you guys are okay. You guys are all all right. Come on. All right. What we got? What we got? What we got? It's a Makuhita. They had Makuhita in here. That's pretty dope. We know Peck. Let's give it a Peck. We'll give it a Peck or two. Yeah. Super effective against fighting types. All right. Let's be out. We should be near the exit. Let's see. We'll head this way. I don't remember if we need to fight that trainer or not. Another electric. We really need something to protect us against electric types. I don't want a very strong electric type to show up and then we 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 have problems. Come on. Yep. Never mind. All right, we got to do this fight. I roam far and wide in search of Pokémon. Are you looking for Pokémon too? And you're my collecting rival. This is a this is one of the ones that's dressed up in cosplay, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Pokémaniac. It's Larry the Pokémaniac. You poor Paris. You poor Paris. Paris is both bug type and grass type. They're both weak against flying type attacks. Here's a peck. Hold this peck for me. Yeah, yo. That was simple. He forced us into battle for that. So he could get a peck on. All right. We should be near the end. Uh-oh. I think I'm just going the wrong way now. Yeah. Going. Oh no, there's the exit right there. And there's another Dawn Stone. Lovely. It's actually good that we're finding a lot of Dawn Stones. They, those are items that you can't get repetitively. We're out of Union Cave and we're actually here performing for you. We're in, uh, what is it? Route 33. Is that the same? What I need to do is check the map to make sure it's not the same. No, it's not. 32 is this one. This is 33 here. Okay. So this route here, it's raining. It is raining, and we have another opportunity for a catch. We also have some apricorns down here. We're probably going to do this catch and then just walk into town, and that'll be it for this episode, because this episode actually been a little bit longer than the rest have. Come on. Yeah. We got a pink apricorn and a black apricorn. Excuse me, ma'am. You're in my way. Oh, here's our encounter, ladies and gentlemen. It's an Ekans. Dang it. I mean, it does diversify the team a little bit, but Ekans isn't too good. It's raining. Oh, it's raining! Water-type attacks are stronger than... than What? Oh. I was say, excuse me. He, Ekans does intimidate. Water-type attacks are stronger in the rain, so let's do a pound just so we don't kill Ekans. Damn. We're going to kill Ekans. He's going to poison us. Watch. We have the worst luck when it comes to status ailments. The worst. All right, let's throw a Pokeball at it. Make it jiggle a little bit. Here we go. Mm-hmm. 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 Got it. Got it. All right. Let's see what Ekans says. Ekans is the snake Pokemon. It hides in grass. It always hides in grass. When first born, it has no poison, so its bite is painful but harmless. All right. A name for Ekans. Ekans. A name for Ekans. Here's what we're going to call it. Here's what we're going to call it. This is Viper. This is Viper, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Viper, to the team. Oh, I need to get him out of that box. He's in the wrong box. All right, so we got those. Ooh, ooh, you're poisoned. Oh, I'm so sorry, my sweet Perry. Poison deals damage every four steps outside of battle. So we need to make sure that we don't kill Perry by mistake. All right, we got our encounter. We got out of the cave, ran to the next city. Please, do you want to fight? If you want to fight, just no, actually, we're not going to fight you. I don't want to. Dang it. I'm going to say I don't want to deal with this right now. Another reckons. We're going to run. We're not fighting here. It'll be okay. It'll be okay, ladies and gentlemen. It'll be okay. All right. We are now in Azalea Town. 
Azalea Town is probably my favorite song in the entire game. In the entire song. I have so many remixes of this song on my computer. Who are you? You don't know us. We are Team Rocket. What? We broke up a while ago? Give me a break. We have not broken up. Actually, we did once, but we have come back to pursue Giovanni's ambition. Enough talking. Shut up and just beat it. Thud. He pushed that old man. All right. If you guys missed the Fire Red playthrough and you're not familiar with Generation 1, uh, with that storyline, basically, Team Rocket was trying to cause a lot of problems for one reason or another in the land of Kanto. Uh, and this game takes place three years after that game, after that set of games. So apparently they disbanded sometime between then and now and they're trying to regroup and live out Giovanni's original mission it's interesting all right so we've arrived here in Azalea Town we'll go ahead and heal up in the Pokemon Center we're gonna call it there we'll pick up from there and the next one guys there's a lot of stuff going on in Azalea Town all right, so we'll just heal up and we'll call it. If you guys enjoyed this episode and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. Now it's not a subscribe button. And I'll do my best to make sure you guys can see more episodes of games like Pokemon Soul Silver, more challenges like the Nuzlocke run, as well as everything else that All Play has to offer. Thank you for checking this out, and I'll catch you guys later with more here on All Play. I haven't forgotten that I need to move. Oh, Viper, out of that box. I'll do it in between the episodes. It's okay. It'll be all right. I'll see you guys later. You have a good one. Bye.